What up, YouTube Agent Persuasion here with my boy Slim, and also Luxury Gaming still here too. This is gonna be posted on their channel first. But we're here with one and only Cody Angeloff, who got top four. Um, what did you do this weekend with what what deck, my friend? Uh, so I played tier tier pure tier with pure no best heals, no hand traps, no high spirits. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that's pretty that's much it, what yeah. I played. It was nice. Yeah. It was really nice. And you got that vanilla. Yeah. You got that vanilla, baby. Indeed. Indeed. We All right. Split. And then, we split, by the yeah. way. So, <laughs> so third and fourth. fourth, but but we split. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it basically looks like you got third and fourth. Yeah, yeah. you know, third fourth, easy. Technically fourth though. True. <laughs> <laughs> On paper, yeah. you're fourth. After the fact, it was a it was a homey decision after the fact. Yeah, after the fact. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. All right, let's get into it, brother. Or if you want to do shoutouts first, you can do shoutouts. Uh, yeah, let's do shoutouts. Uh, so first off, shout out to Luxury. You know, um, shout out to Ethan. This man right here. This Rich. man's the plug for cards right he here. He's Rich. the plug for cards. He's like, who I are love you him to death. <laughs> uh, shout out to Elise for hosting me for the weekend. Yes, Elise. Um, shout out to all the boys at home for sure. And uh, oh, shout out, shout out to the barber shop. That's the where I did all. Shop. That's where I did all of my testing for this event. I spent like ten hours a day or something like that the last two weeks just testing for this event. Um, like Polly. Uh, Jib, Tristan, um, yeah, uh, th those were like my testing par partners for this weekend, and it, it turned out that the deck was insane. Oh, yeah, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that should be it. Though. All right, man, let's get in it. Let's see it. All right, so if you're not playing like 12 tiers, then there's something wrong, honestly. <laughs> like, these cards are crazy. Uh, next, um, I did play a small danger package, uh, so I'm not playing high spirits. So the dangers actually really help a lot with like unbreaking unbre hands, um, going second, so you get extra extenders, uh, making curious. Um, these cards were they overperformed all weekend, especially with the new card scream, um, because uh, it gave you extra cards to actually hit out of your hand and actually gain value from. Um, yeah, th these cards overperformed all weekend for me. Um, and next, the last monster, uh, Night Sword Serpent. So, for anyone that doesn't know what this does, uh, if it's sent to the graveyard by a card effect, it can special summon itself by banish it whenever it leaves the field. Uh, the biggest part about it is it's a level 4 to make Dweller and also a another card in my extra deck that you guys probably saw on stream. Um, but yeah, this card was really, really good this weekend. Um, next, uh, three field spell, um, and terraforming, uh, I don't, there's nothing really to say about these cards. Uh, next for the other tier cards, I played one heartbeat and three scream. So, this is the best tier card that came out of the new set, in my opinion. It has three different effects, it's threatening roar, <laughs> it searches for a trap, and also in mills three whenever either player summons. So in the mirror match, this card is very, very important to have because it allows you to actually play um, if you get Dweller because you can just kill the Dweller and on like Scream and another tier monster and then be able to play on their turn. Um, also, being able to search this off of Kick Hollows and then milling it later in the turn so you have this and you... Also, get to search for a trap is very, very important. Um, also, milling this early with uh, with any of your effects and getting into Solik early to p discard off of Rhino Heart is just it's just free cards. Um, and Heartbeat, uh, this is usually why I send off a Curious. Funny enough, uh, there are no like specific Curious cards in my deck, um, but Heartbeat was the best because you mill so much in this deck, especially with the three screen that you'll be milling either Solik or Crime. And just ending on Solik and Crime, game one is just, it, it's unfair, <laughs> honestly. It really also, it's a Mystic Mine out, which was nice. Um, next, I play three Super Poly and three Dark Roller. Um, this card was not Droplet simply because I didn't want to discard uh, a lot of cards just to get Crimed. I thought a lot of people would be on Crime uh, in the main deck. Um, I did see two crimes, um, but just the fact that this card, also against Runic Sprite, just being able to Dark Ruler their board and then 
not have to discard any of your other cards was actually like really big uh, because it's just one card instead of discarding two to three. Um, next, for the one of Instant Fusion, Cards Insane, Call by the Grave. I did play this because on the off chance I do get to hit like a shifter or if people are going beyond hand traps like Bell, Crow, Ash, all those cards. Um, Upstart Goblin and Foolish. Uh, so these are the spells. Notice that I'm not playing Desires in the deck, but I'm playing Upstart Goblin. So the reason why I didn't play Desires is because every time I would activate Desires, I would mill like three, well, not mill, but uh, banish three names for my deck, and since my main goal is to end on Scream, I want the extra names in my deck to be able to hit more consistently, and with Desires, yes, you draw an extra card, but like, it, from what I experienced with my testing, it didn't really, it didn't really matter, the extra card didn't, um, and, but Upstart was, Upstart was insane, <laughs> it, it drew me like, five Super Polys and two Dark Rulers. <laughs> That's our um, Cody right there. <laughs> and then and then the traps, two Solik and a crime. So I decided to main this card because uh, like I said before, if you do go first, I do want cards that um, help with the evenly matched in the main deck, which a lot of people are doing from Ecuador. Um, also I I think that with this plus um, another card in my extra deck that I end on was just it's just so hard to break. And yeah, this card was just really, really good this weekend. Yeah, that's the main deck. I play 40 cards, 39 cards, you know. You Always know. 39. And for the extra deck, um, the extra deck is weird, I guess. Um, so Spren, new inclusion to the deck. Uh, it always gets you to Marley. Um, one Elf, uh, I play Dark. I played Curious because I played the Danger cards. Um, I played Epilosa because uh, against the Flunder matchup, also in the Mirror match, it's really nice. Um, also, it's it was either this or Zeroboros, but I thought that Appaloosa would be a lot better um, in the Mirror match, only because, like, yes, you only get two, but you're ending on more cards and, like, Solik to uh, be able to protect the Appaloosa a lot better with, like, Crime and um, another card. But yeah, uh, I didn't make it that much, but it was still good this weekend. Um, next, uh, Underworld Goddess. So, uh, a lot of people, a lot of people were getting back onto the Runic Sprite deck, and um, against here, they will always be ending on IP plus Elf to make Avermax. I just wanted a card in my extra deck just to deal with that card through the Runic cards. So, this card, I only had to make it once, but when I made it, I won. <laughs> easy those are the links and then i played three exceeds uh dweller i mean not much to say about dweller and then for a lot of the versions of tier uh i played the bahamut toad um combo so this was probably the most made extra deck card uh in my extra deck uh, besides kick Hollows. but i made this almost every game and also Something really cool about uh, this package as well is that if you have an extra, like, if you have Night Sword Serpent or Rhino Heart, you can make Curious with those and then add back Rhino Heart to make it, like, your crime live. Uh, so just ending on Toad, like, that's very good, but also giving the fact that you can just make Curious as well is just a really, really cool uh, interaction. Also, if you do leave Bahamut... Uh, up with Sprint, it's also another interruption, which is kind of cool. That's um, the goo right there. <laughs> and then for the fusions, I only played six. I played Mud Dragon, One Kick Kalos, Garura, Draco Stapelia, uh, Lulu, and Kaleido. Um, these are all standard. Uh, the second kit didn't come up at all. It got banished a couple times off Bistids, but you, I never needed to like bring it back. Um, but yeah, like the only thing that I would change from the extra deck is maybe like cut the underworld, but I don't know. I'm so terrified about Avery Max. It's not funny. <laughs> like I, the kid was not that important. Yeah. And then for the side deck, um, time rules. Yay. Everyone loves them, right? Yay. Um, next I play two sphere mode. Uh, I'm going to bring these cards out with 
that's pheromones as well. Um, okay, so two sphere mode, three mine, three evenly. Like I said before, I do not play hand traps. Um, in the mirror match, I just side these cards in, and if they do the high spirits board, then that's fine. I just fear mode them evenly, set up like scream with um, like a Sharon or something, and you're good. Or you just fear mode them and then mystic mine them, or you just have mystic mine evenly. A combination of these cards is pretty much what you're aiming for, and I don't know. Like, I didn't really like the hand trap approach because usually they can play two, through two hand traps, maybe even more sometimes, and I just felt like that board breakers were just better from Dustin. But yeah. Um, also, all these cards go in against Sprite as well, so if they just scoop game one, like, you don't really miss side, which is nice. Um, next, uh, I played Feather Duster and Two Cosmic. These were my back row hate cards, besides the evenly matched. Um, so, this was a third Cosmic Cyclone, but I decided to play Duster instead because uh, the Runic Sprite decks, um, they just had a lot of back row, and why not just destroy them all? <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. And then the last three cards were three skill drink. So, a lot of people were not playing this card, and from what I was understanding with my testing is that I didn't have a go first card, and I didn't want to leave Dark Alert in my deck, so against everything that was in the mirror match, this card was just a blowout card, um, because with Scream plus Pelorano, uh, or however you say it, um, I, I thought that my monsters were just so big that it did not matter. Like, my Lulu got to become, like, 4,000. My Kaleido Heart's 4,000. And then, yeah, it's just, like, impossible for people to out um, those cards with Skill Drain. Also, the cool thing about this deck as well is that you can actually play under Skill Drain because of, like, the Filt spell. Um, and also with Scream. So you can just continuous, continuously, like, just pump out, like, big fusion monsters. Um... But yeah, I didn't draw this card once all tournament because I never got to go first, really. <laughs> so, yeah. But in, in, in testing, this card overperformed. And I am still glad that I played it. For sure. But yeah, that is, uh, that is the, the deck. deck. All right, man. Congratulations on top four. Any final words for you? Um, I think you did shout out already. I think that's it. Yeah, that's all right, <laughs> Honestly, man. Let's go. That's all right, man. Congrats on top four and thanks for the deck profile. Appreciate it, guys.